Molasses isn't just sweet, it's a secret weapon. Ranchers have been using it to speed up weight gain, improve digestion, and boost feed efficiency. But how does it really work? Today, we find out. Welcome, fellow cattle enthusiasts, to another deep dive into the practical science of ranching. Today, we're talking about a tool that's as old as modern agriculture itself, yet its power is often underestimated. That tool is molasses. For many, it's just a sticky, sweet byproduct. But for the savvy rancher, it's a strategic advantage that can significantly impact your bottom line. So let's start with the basics. What exactly is molasses? In simple terms, it's the thick, dark syrup left over after sugar crystals are extracted from sugar cane or sugar beets. It's packed with simple sugars, primarily sucrose, fructose, and glucose. And it's these sugars that hold the key to its effectiveness in cattle nutrition. To understand why, we need to journey inside the cow, specifically into the rumen. The rumen is not just a stomach, it's a magnificent 50-gallon fermentation vat teeming with trillions of microbes, bacteria, and protozoa. These tiny organisms are the real workhorses of digestion. They're the ones that break down the tough, fibrous material in forage, like hay and grass, that the cow itself cannot digest. Now think of this microbial population as a massive, microscopic workforce. Like any workforce, they need energy to do their job effectively. And molasses, with its readily available sugars, is like a high-octane energy drink for them. When you introduce molasses into the diet, you provide a quick, easily fermentable energy source. This causes a rapid bloom in the microbial population. Suddenly, you have more workers and they are all energized. What happens next is the real magic. This supercharged microbial workforce becomes incredibly efficient at breaking down the lower quality, high fiber portions of the feed. That dry pasture or average quality hay that your cattle might otherwise struggle with? The microbes, fueled by molasses, can now extract more nutrients, more energy, and more value from it. This directly translates to improved feed efficiency. Your cattle get more bang for every buck you spend on feed. And this leads, of course, to faster and more consistent weight gain. It's not just about adding calories, it's about unlocking the full potential of the feed you already have. Have you ever noticed your cattle turning their noses up at a certain type of feed or leaving the dusty, fine particles at the bottom of the bunk? This is where another benefit of molasses shines, and it's called palatability. Cattle love the sweet taste. By simply spraying or mixing a small amount of liquid molasses over a total mixed ration, or TMR, you can dramatically increase its appeal. This encourages the animals to eat more consistently and clean up their entire portion, ensuring they get the balanced nutrition you designed for them. It also works as a fantastic binding agent, reducing feed dust, which can cause respiratory issues and represents lost, wasted feed. So we know it works, but how do you actually use it on your operation? There are three primary methods, each suited for different setups. First, there's the liquid form. This is great for feedlots or dairies using a TMR mixer. You can add it directly into the ration, ensuring an even distribution. For smaller producers, you can simply pour it over the top of hay or grain in a bunk feeder. It's a simple way to enrich forage and encourage consumption. Second, we have molasses blocks or lick tubs. These are incredibly popular for pasture-based operations. They are essentially a solid block of dehydrated molasses, often fortified with proteins, vitamins, and minerals. The beauty of this method is that it's self-regulating. Cattle will lick the tub when they feel the need, consuming the molasses slowly over time. This reduces labor and provides a consistent supplement, especially when forage quality is low. It's a set it and forget it solution that works around the clock. And third, it can be part of a pelleted feed. Many commercial cattle feeds include molasses, not just for nutrition, 
but as a binder to hold the pellets together. Now this all sounds great, doesn't it? But here's where we need to be cautious. Using molasses incorrectly can lead to serious problems. And frankly, it's a mistake I see far too often. And the worst part is that many ranchers don't even know they're making it until the damage is done. In a moment, I'll explain the number one error you must avoid. But first, let's consider another hidden benefit. Molasses is an excellent carrier for other nutrients. Need to add urea for protein or a specific mineral mix to the diet? Molasses can mask the often unpleasant taste of these additives, ensuring your cattle consume them without hesitation. It helps you deliver a complete nutritional package seamlessly. Okay, let's talk about the biggest mistake, overfeeding. Because molasses is so palatable and energy dense, it's easy to think that more is better. This is a dangerous trap. When you provide too much sugar too quickly, the fermentation in the rumen goes into overdrive. This produces a large amount of acid, causing the rumen's pH to drop sharply. This condition is called acute acidosis. Have you ever had an animal suddenly go off its feed, look lethargic, or show signs of bloating and discomfort? It could be a case of acidosis. In severe cases, it can damage the rumen wall, lead to liver abscesses, and even be fatal. It completely negates any potential benefit and puts your animal's health at risk. The key is balance. Molasses should be a supplement, not a staple. So what's the right amount? A good rule of thumb is that molasses should not constitute more than 5 to 10% of the total dry matter in the diet. For an average 1,000 pound cow, this usually translates to about 1 to 3 pounds of molasses per day. But always, and I mean always, start low and go slow. Introduce it into the diet gradually over a period of 1 to 2 weeks. This gives the rumen's microbial population time to adapt preventing the shock that leads to acidosis. Another common mistake is not considering the type of molasses. Most of what you'll find is cane molasses, which is excellent. However, you might also come across beet molasses or other types. The most important factor to check is the sulfur content. Some molasses, particularly certain types of beet molasses, can be high in sulfur. Excessive sulfur can interfere with the absorption and metabolism of thiamine, which is vitamin B1. A deficiency in thiamine can lead to a serious neurological disease in cattle called polyencephalomalacia, or PEM. The symptoms are staggering, blindness, and pressing their head against objects. It's a terrible condition that is easily avoided by simply asking your supplier for a nutrient analysis of the molasses you're buying know what you're feeding. And finally, never forget that molasses is an energy supplement, not a protein or fiber supplement. It works best when used to balance a diet, not define it. If your cattle are on poor quality pasture that lacks protein, adding only molasses won't solve the core problem. You need to provide a protein source as well. Molasses gives the rumen macrobes the energy to work but protein gives them the building blocks they need to multiply and thrive. Think of it like a construction project. Molasses is the fuel for the machinery, but protein is the raw material, like bricks and mortar. You need both to build the house. For small producers, a few lick tubs in the pasture during the dry season or a gallon of liquid molasses drizzled over hay can make a world of difference in maintaining body condition. For large producers, incorporating it into a precisely calculated TMR can fine-tune your feed efficiency and improve your rate of gain by those crucial extra tenths of a pound per day. The principles are the same, only the scale is different. Mastering tools like molasses is what separates good ranchers from great ones. It's about understanding the science, respecting the animal's biology, and applying that knowledge with a practical, common-sense approach. It's about working smarter, not just harder. This channel, Biggest Bulls and Cow, is more than just videos. It's a community for all of us who are passionate about raising healthy, productive cattle and who believe in continuous learning. So, if you found this information valuable 
and you want to keep growing with us, do us a huge favor and hit that subscribe button right now. It lets us know we're on the right track and allows us to keep creating content just like this for you. And now we want to hear from you. Tell us in the comments, what's your experience with using molasses? Do you prefer liquid or blocks? Or maybe you have a question that we didn't cover. We read every single comment because that's how we all learn. Finally, if you know another rancher, a 4-H student, or just a friend who could benefit from this information, please share this video with them. The best knowledge is shared knowledge. Because here, we're all in this together, learning and growing as responsible stewards of our land and our animals. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.